Alright, so, um, this next question I think is pretty neat. Um, I don't know, that's me though. But, so what we have here is we have a conical wire tank on its vertex. And what is a conical vertex? What is it in the first place? Well, it's, I don't think they actually have these kind of wire tanks, I don't know. But, it's basically a funnel, right? It's a funnel shaped um, water tank. And you have water in here at some level. Okay, so that's a conical wire tank. Cone, conical. Okay, so there's a conical wire tank on its vertex. Water is being drawn out at the rate of 6 pi cubic feet per minute. If the water tank is 36 feet high and, uh, if the water tank is 36 feet high and 12 feet wide, it should be capitalized. Anyway, um, and is originally filled up all the way, uh, at the start. What, at what rate is the water level dropping when the water is 9 feet deep? Wow, okay, um, there should be a comma there. That's why it didn't make any sense. Anyway, um, so what's being said here? Well, let's go back here. Um, I still lost track. Water is being drawn out at the rate of 6 pi cubic feet per minute. Okay, so what is that? Well, first of all, um, what are the two quantities that we need to find the relationship? Well, we're actually given three, right? Um, we're given the volume, well, drawn out at the rate. So if water is being drawn out, that's affecting the volume of the water in a water tank. So volume is one. If the water tank is 36 feet high, okay, height, that's another one, and 12 feet wide, well, since it's a conical wire tank, um, each cross-sectional slice is a circle. Remember that. So, radius. So, um, we're going to use radius. And this is a diameter here, so the radius is going to be half of that. And it's originally filled up all the way at the start. Okay, so the wire tank is originally filled to its max. The question is, at what rate is the water level dropping? Okay. Water level dropping. Well, water level is the height of the water. So... It wants to find dr, or sorry, dh, dh over dt, right? So the two rates we're given, we're given dv over dt, and we want to find dr over dt, okay? And when the water is 9 feet deep, okay? So we have three variables here. We have, um, what is it? We have volume, we have height, but we also have radius. So let's just write everything down, okay? So we have volume, we have height, and we have radius, okay, what are we told? Well, we're told that um, dv over dt is equal to, is being drawn out, now careful here, if water is being drawn out of the water tank, that means that the amount of water in the water tank is shrinking, so it's negative, so the rate here is negative, right, it's negative 6 pi uh, cubic feet per minute, per minute. Okay, and if the water tank is 36 feet high and 12 feet wide, now that's the specifications of the entire water tank. So, this is going to be, what is it? Uh, 36 feet high, and it's 12 feet wide. Okay, and, okay, so originally it's filled up all the way to the top. So, at what rate is the water level dropping? Okay, so at what rate is the water level dropping? So we're interested in dh of dt. We're interested in how um, how the water level drops, which is the height, right? So this is height, and um, this here is radius six. Okay, so actually, you know what? We want to find the relationship between dv and dh over t of t. So we want to come up with an equation that will contain V and H. And it also could contain R. And let's take a look here. So, uh, the equation for a conical um, volume is going to be one-third. You can look this up if you want. But anyway, I'm going to tell you here. It's going to be one-third pi R squared H. Okay. But, when we implicitly differentiate this, we can immediately see that we're going to have R's and H's. And that's a problem because we don't have the R over DT. 
we have db over dt, and we want to solve the h over dt. So we have to get rid of this r. You see, you follow me here? We want, we have, so if we implicitly differentiate, we're going to have db over dt, that's good. And we have the h over dt, but we're also going to have a dr over dt, and we don't want that. Right, we don't want that. Uh, so we're going to have to convert r to t. Or sorry, r to h. Can we do that? Well, now here's a trick with this problem. Um, with this conical water tank, the ratio of the height to the radius is always the same. Okay, so the ratio of h to r is always going to be the same wherever you are. So even here. So if you're here, this ratio of h to r is going to be the same as this ratio of the entire water tank. And we know that the entire water tank is going to be 36 feet high and 12, sorry, ah, here's the tricky part. It's 12 feet wide, but the radius is 6, so I should have written 6 there. Okay, so then using this, we can find, we find that um, this simplifies to 6. So we find that uh, the height is equal to 6r, wherever you are on the water level. Okay. So the height is always 6 times the radius, and it's always true for this water tank. Okay, now we want h, and we don't want r. We want h because we want to find dh over dt. We, if the question had asked us to find dr over dt, then we would get rid of this r. But no, well, sorry, then we would get rid of this h. But no, we want dh over dt, so we had to get rid of this r. So we're going to solve for r here. r is uh, h over 6 equals r. And then let's plug in r here. Okay, so do you see what I did here? That's the hard part about this problem, is finding what r is. And r here, using this proportion, we found that r was equal to h over 6. Okay. Now the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Um, okay, let's rewrite this. So it's going to be what? It's going to be uh, h cubed, right? h cubed over 36. 36 times 3 is 108. Okay, so 108 pi h uh, cubed. Okay, and that's going to equal our v here. Okay. Now that we have this equation, finally, we're going to implicitly differentiate both. Right? We're going to implicitly differentiate both the top and the bottom. Sorry, both uh, both sides of the equation. And then if we do that, um, we get dv. We're, differenti we're differentiating with respect to time, always, okay? You always differentiate with respect to time and these related rates follow, because it's a rate, right? It's something per time, per unit of time. So it's going to be 108 pi, um, we have to use the chain rule here. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 3h squared over dh dt. I'm going to take this away. Okay. And let me just rewrite it. So it's going to be... Uh, 3 over 108 is going to be 36. 1 over 36 pi dh over dt, and that's going to equal dv over dt. Okay, now let's plug in everything. Okay, so we see that dv over dt is minus 6, don't forget that, minus 6 pi, minus 6 pi equals 1 over 36 pi. Um, whoops, I forgot to carry down the 8 squared here. Okay, so h squared, so h is what? Um, oh, I forgot to write that. There you go. When the water is 9 feet deep, 9 feet deep, so h is going to be 9 feet. Okay, so they want us to find, um, okay, so say this is 9. Yeah, I forgot that part. So 9 feet, okay, so 9 feet deep, and they, they're telling us that uh, at this time, dv over dt is negative 6, and they're asking us to find Okay, the rate at which uh, the height is decreasing. So, I forgot that part. Um, so, 9h squared and dh over dt. So, if we solve for that, um, so it's going to be 81. 81, bring it over. So, it's going to be uh, negative 6. The pi's cancel out. Negative 6 times 36 over 81. Um, let me see equals dh over dt. Um, 
um, if you do this out, I believe it comes to uh, negative 8 over 3 feet per second dh over dt right okay let me see uh, yep yep okay uh, yeah okay negative 8 over 3 uh, feet per second is it per second? no it's per minute in this case right let me see yeah, it's per minute, okay. Yeah, be careful with your units here. It's a minor thing, but still. Um, you don't want to lose points on silly stuff like that. Okay. And that's our answer. Whew. Right, uh, so we saw that uh, the height was decreasing. Uh, it's decreasing at a rate of negative eight-thirds feet per minute. Okay. Now, originally I was going to do another example in the same lesson, but it's already 12 minutes, or almost. So... I'm going to cut it here, so go on to the next lesson. See you later.